During this odd time in history, you've been hosting a show on Zoom, geniusly titled Between Two Spurs. Uh, it's a 25-minute Zoom interview with Spurs legends like Avery Johnson and David Robinson. I wanted to end the interview by me bringing up some past Spurs players, maybe some obscure ones you didn't think about, and you tell me if you think they'd make a good Zoom interview. Yes. Okay, first, he only played one season on the Spurs, 89-90, but you blab. Uve Blob. <laughs> yes. Uve Blob. You say it better than I do. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's a big German guy, went to Washington. That's a good question because I can hardly remember Uve, and even though I played against him in college. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that's, that's a tough one. All right, all right. We'll hold off on that one. That's a good one. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll hold off. Maybe you'll hear the other ones and you'll, you'll set up who you want. Two, I, he played one okay. season, 76-77. I didn't even know he was a spur. Mike D'Antoni. Mike D'Antoni. I think Mike D'Antoni would be a really good Zoom interview. Okay. Because I, he's been around here and there and he's got a good personality. I think he's just a, generally he's a good guy. So uh, he, he would be a good interview. All right. Uh, this one's a, an old teammate of yours. He played one season, 93-94. Sleepy Floyd. Uh, Sleepy Floyd. Uh, I miss Sleepy Floyd by a year. Um, he was, I think, 87, 88. So I missed him. But I admired him when he was in college. I loved his nickname. Okay. And I was a big college basketball fan, so I would love to interview Sleepy Floyd. Okay, moving on. Uh, this guy, one of NBA's largest personalities, played one season on the Spurs, 15-16, Boban. Boban is the best. Okay. I mean, God, what, what a great dude. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> love Boban Marjanovic. Yes, if you said no, I would have been very mad. All right, two seasons <laughs> on the Spurs, 09 through 11, Antonio McDice. Is he a good interview in 2020? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he is because, uh, just a, a cool, cool dude. Loved the way he played early on in his career when he played for the Denver Nuggets. Oh. So he was a nightmare. He nightmare. was one of the only guys. He was the only one of the only guys that gave Tim Duncan problems. Oh, he, he could jump out the gym too, man. It was what an athlete. Yes, he could. And he could shoot it. He could shoot it with decent range. I mean, he, he had a great uh, low post game. He was, he was a lot of fun to watch. All right, this one maybe didn't have as great of an NBA career. Great in college, one season with the Spurs, 0102, Cherokee Parks. <laughs> he would be a great interview. Uh, free spirit. Yeah, free spirit. The tattoos and stuff now. He's out of his mind. Yeah, yeah, but cool. Another cool, just, I mean, down to earth guy that you, you can have a great conversation with. He'd sit down with anybody and uh, and have a good time. Just salt to the earth type of guy. Love it. Last one. One season with the Spurs. And again, a guy I didn't even know. I'd see him as a Nick, I guess. I don't know. Oh three, oh four. Charlie Ward played on the Spurs? Uh, Charlie Ward. It, he would be a good interview he, I mean, anytime because he's you know, Heisman Award winner. Yeah. Uh, ends up playing uh, NBA basketball. How, how many guys have done that? None, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's, he's got quite a resume and you know, he's He's, he's been in some battles and, and, and watching Florida State and Miami back in the day. Yep. You know, those were the games that people would, I mean, cram around the TV set to watch. Guys were hitting each other. They were so exciting. Yeah. That was some of the best football that was being played. Yeah. And Charlie Ward had, had he, he threw some dimes. Even in the NBA, he was a pretty good assist guy. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He, he was fun to watch as a quarterback. I mean, he could scramble. He could, he had an arm. Yeah. He was, he was fun to watch.